All right, guys, so this tech tip is to help you understand how to use comments and highlights within Word. So you should have downloaded a document to be able to do your peer reviews. And now I'm going to screen share. No, this is not a paper. It's actually a peer review form that I have uh, directions on for you. Um, but the way that you do this is you highlight what you want. If you want one word, you can do a double click. If you want the whole paragraph, you would do a triple click. If you want a segment, you're going to pick just a segment. And then you're going to pick what color to highlight. Now, I don't want to highlight, so I'm going to leave that off. Next, comments. For comments, there's this little area up here called review. So you would click on review and you've got your area highlighted. So you're going to say new comments. Because again, this is just to show you how. Now, you can't just hit the enter button because it's just going to drop it down. So you have to actually make sure that your comment has saved before you move on. Now you see here, when you get your document and you have your highlights and you're looking for your comments, right now we can't actually see them unless we hover over them and click on them. So when you get your peer reviews back and you're ready to view your comments, or maybe you're the reviewer and you just wanna double check them, you would click show comments. And now all of a sudden we have this off to the side. Okay, this is actually extremely helpful because if you decide you want to print with the comments, it will print it with all those comments. And so then you have a physical document that you can, you know, put notes on and you can manipulate. Maybe you don't want the comments. There is a way to print without the comments. So we have all pages, whole thing. Right here, you would uncheck print the markup. And then you would just get the document with the highlights and not with the comments. So really it's gonna depend on your revision process and what you need to be able to see um, if you're tactile and if you need it printed out or if you're good working on multiple screens. I'm a multiple screens person. Um, maybe you do want that markup. Just be warned that when you print because it has this and it has to allow for space for that. The, the print that you have, the type font you have, is going to end up shrinking the document so that we can fit those comments off to the side. So if you have a hard time reading smaller print, be aware. Um, the only other thing I can really think of is when you are done with your paper, maybe you decided to do all the revisions on one of the markups. You cannot turn in a paper with the markup. So we are going to click resolve, but that doesn't make it go away. So when you submit it, you would still be submitting with those comments. So what you have to do is you have to click on the comment and delete, and that makes it go away. If you have highlighted an area and you've got that highlighted, you would have to highlight it again and click no color and select that area. And that'll de-highlight it. You can also, just to get that off, just so you can see, select from here, no color. So a lot of different tips and tricks for you this week um, as we are moving into preparing for our peer reviews. Uh, you can review this video as many times as you need to so that you can see exactly how to manipulate a document in Word for the peer reviews so that you can get those full grades. Because yes, I do check the documents and I make sure you have all the highlights. I make sure there's comments on the side. Uh, if you don't have a whole lot in a peer review that you've uploaded, 
your score is not going to be quite as good. So if you need to print off this document or whatever peer review document it is for whichever peer review we are currently on, and just follow the directions. It's very much not linear. So you want to read through the directions first so you know what you're watching for and just go through it chunk by chunk. And a reminder, final reminder, the peer reviews that we do online take the place of what we would be doing physically in the classroom. When I have a face-to-face -face class, we sit down, we have printed out peer reviews, they get this exact same thing, except they're not making comments in Word, they're making the comments on the paper. And that is the entire class period. So do expect to spend time on these. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much.